Welcome to the third Atom CLI tutorial. Today we're going to show Linux and Max users how to start their Vagrant box and SSH into it. This assumes that you've watched video one installing Vagrant. The first thing you'll want to do is navigate to the directory where you installed Vagrant. From there we can run Vagrant up to boot the box. This will start booting the box. You'll notice right away as it boots that it lists the default SSH username, which is Vagrant. If when logging in you're prompted for a username and password, both are Vagrant. Now we're booted. From here we can now SSH into our Vagrant box. Type Vagrant SSH. Again, if you're prompted for a password or a username, both are Vagrant. Now we're ready to begin using command line tools. Check out the later videos for this. Since our Vagrant box is now booted, we can also navigate in our browser to our Atom instance at the default address, 10.10.10.10. We're ready to use Atom for local development or testing. When you're done with this session, you can exit Vagrant's SSH by entering exit and then shut down the Vagrant image by typing Vagrant Halt. And the box is now shut down. You can type Vagrant up to begin the process again next time you want to continue your session. There is a second way to do this using the VirtualBox user interface. The command line prompt given to you is less useful than your local terminal, however. But if you want to do this, launch the VirtualBox interface. There you'll see your Vagrant box listed as one of the images available. To start it up, just click the big green Start button at the top. VirtualBox will begin booting Vagrant. will also supply its own command line terminal. Once this is started, we may be prompted for login credentials. Again, username and password are both vagrant. Now we're booted up and ready to go. When you want to shut down your session through the VirtualBox interface, simply navigate back to the VirtualBox interface, right-click, and select Closed ACPI Shutdown. You've now ended your session. Check out future tutorials to see some of the other command line tools in action. 